So we've just come out for a walk because the sun is shining and the wind has died down and we've come to sort of have a look round and see what's happening with the snow. Um, this is actually quite a mild drift of what some places are like. But we live um, three miles from the main road um, so we've got three miles of single track road and it's all buried under snow drift. Um, they are making a start and trying to dig out but I think it's going to be a long job. As you can see here there's, there's snows up quite high along the hedges. Uh, it's really big drifts and this is what it's like through most of the three miles of the main road. And just up there is the gate to my orchard which I won't be visiting today. I thought I'd try and struggle across and have a look but there's no way I'm going to try and get through those high drifts uh, to check anything. It's, it's going to have to fend for itself. So as you can see although the wind has died down and the sun is out we're still completely snowed in. This is where they've been starting to clear the road um, but it's taken them such a long time because it's so deep and a lot of it is, is because the drifts are so high they've actually got nowhere to put the snow from off the road so they're having to keep coming back and forth to sort of make piles of it. Our recycling over there, I don't think they'll be coming to pick it up. They didn't last week, <laughs> funnily enough. Um, so yeah, it's taken them a long time and as I said there's, there's three miles of this to do so I think we're going to be here for a little while longer. So I'm just walking back down our lane now to our house which um, they had the digger out um, clearing. It's really quite odd, it's, it's, like, it's like walking through a little snow tunnel because the snow is so high each side. So you sort of walk down, it's all very white. <laughs> so here we are, I'll show you. Snow to the left and snow to the right. <laughs> so you go down this little little white tunnel. It's quite a strange feeling really. And it's getting quite cold now. But you can see it's it's still quite high. It's taller than me in a lot of places. I'm about five foot three and a half, so I'm not that tall. But it's it so it's it probably seems a lot a lot higher to me than a lot of people. But I still think we've got quite a bit of snow. It's gonna take a while to melt. And our little snow tunnel back to the house. So I'm through my gate now and I can actually walk walk through through to the, the back of my house and to my polytunnel now but I think the polytunnel might still take a bit of digging out um, but they're doing really well clearing. Um, unfortunately for us to get out which is going to be another few days they've had to clear the snow and it's banked up in front of the tunnel so I don't quite know what's going to happen there um, but my planting's obviously just going to be a bit late but I'm sure it'll all catch up. I'm more concerned with the, the plants like all my current bushes to see the tops there poking through so they're all, they're all still buried down here. Over here um, was my crate and I, I did say that I had stuff under there but I think they were just trying to clear the road but I can see I'm gonna to have to come out with a shovel because I've got things growing in tubs under here somewhere and there's my other onion crate so yeah hopefully it'll melt a bit in the next couple of days and then I'll be able to get out with a shovel and try and um, well try and get to the, the onions that are under there and the garlic. So yeah, digging for treasure. So after a sleepless night where I was really worried about my onions, as you do, I've come out to try and rescue them. 
Um, I'm looking a bit dishevelled this morning because I've had a hat on and stuff and I've been working quite hard. Um, I think dishevelled is just my natural look. Um, but anyway, I've been trying to rescue some of the stuff that was buried and um, this is how far I've got. So in here, um, I've got a grow bag type thing of, of um, onions that I planted actually on the shortest day in December because these ones I was trying to sort of plant them on the shortest day and then the, the theory is you harvest them on the longest so hopefully they'll be okay they were sort of covered with like a bit of a um, this polytunnel thing under them um, cloche but of course it's, it's all collapsed with the weight of the snow so I don't know how well they'll do but at least they can sort of try and get them a bit of light and stuff um, I can't get the plastic off because it was a lot longer than this to, um, and I sort of anchored it down to keep it on and then of course the snow's now on it so it's stuck so I'm hoping that'll be okay um, for now but at least they've got a bit of light and air there this this is my crate um, and I've I had the door on it the shower door but unfortunately the snow just blew underneath um, I've made a start on clearing it but it's really quite hard because you, you can just sort of break break the plants so I thought well at least that's a start and, and it has got warmer so I'm hoping that it'll um, melt down um, pretty soon. I'm going to leave it to the air um, until this afternoon and then I'm going to put the um, shower door back on it for tonight to try and keep it warmer so that hopefully it doesn't freeze as much and, and um, depending on the temperature and, and it might sort of help it warm up again. Okay, over here, carefully, I've got my wheelbarrow full of snow here. My big wheelbarrow of course is stuck in the polytunnel. Um, that door of the polytunnel opens inwards, not outwards. So to open that door, I have obviously got to get in the other door, which I can't. I've managed to dig down here and find my garlic in here, in this tub here. Um, I had to stop trying to clear the snow out of it because I don't know if you can see over there scattered. Oh, um, it just kept breaking. So I've decided just to leave it alone. I've got it to the air now. And I've just started clearing the snow out of the shallots. Um, again, I had the shower door on here, but it blew underneath um, because we had such strong winds that it was this high underneath. And so again, I'm clearing, but I'm not clearing right down to the soil because I'm worried of damaging it. So I'm just going to do the best I can. Again, leave it to the air and then try and cover them a bit to warm them up. So that's that's the jobs for today. Ah, sliding down around here. Um, I don't know, I, I might try, I've got strawberries under here in this crate. Um, I don't know whether to leave it another day because we are supposed to have some rain which, which might break down some of the snow and make it easier to clear. So it's hard to know what to do really. I'm hoping my fruit trees are okay my fruit bushes or my current bushes there um, so we'll see what what tomorrow brings <laughs> <laughs>